Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Nicole Chantel and if you like beauty videos, 31 days of Halloween and Friday vlogs, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of my makeup family. With all that being said, let's jump right into this video. So hello my loves. Today is a let's check, get ready with me to go nowhere edition. I got some grapefruit juice here. Mm. My favorite in my little skull kind of cup. Isn't it cute? Love the two-tone, the rose gold to the black, but anyhow. So today I decided to do a get ready with me. Just let's chat about everything. I hope you guys are all doing well. I know I keep on saying Friday vlogs in my intro because Friday vlogs are part of my channel, but unfortunately where I have been like secluded to my house, not going anywhere. I don't know if I should really just vlog going around my house, if you guys would like to see that. Um, to be quite honest, my life is boring. <laughs> so maybe I won't, but I will have a um, Toronto vlog coming up for you guys soon. Me, my mom and my daughter, my oldest daughter, we went to Toronto for my birthday back in September of 2019, and it was a great time. We went for my birthday, for IMATS, it was so much fun, so I'm gonna edit that and have all that there for you guys. But I just want you guys to know, and especially new people who are coming into our makeup family, and they're like, okay, where's all these Friday videos? Like, you know, she's advertising that she does Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, this is the reason why, because like the majority of the world, we are home in our house and uh, we're being safe. So why not do a, like I said, chit chat, get ready with me to go nowhere. This really cute top, I love this top. It has like this neon stripe. I did get it at um, Marshall's a while back. Anyhow, I'm going to be testing out the uh, Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I haven't tried it yet and I really want to. I'm just gonna take a small amount first just to apply it to my skin to see how it goes because I haven't tried it yet. And I'm just going to dab it on my face. So how are you all doing with the current situation of the world? Really can't speak a whole lot about it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Me and my kids, we're doing good. We've been in the house since March the 14th, so, which is good. And, um, my husband, he went away March the 1st before anything came about. And he is down in the US and he's still down there. He's supposed to be coming home, um, well, today, which is Wednesday evening. So me and my kids, we're gonna be gone before he comes home. We're gonna be gone over to my parents' house because then he has to self-isolate for 14 days. Anyhow, so that's that, but he is okay. Um, where he's to right now, so that's good. So I'm gonna go in with my Le Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation in the shade Porcelain. I feel like I gotta talk really fancy because it is such a fancy, fancy foundation. God, I was about to burp then. Oh my God, excuse me. Nicole, where are your manners to, girl? So what's new with you guys? Like, you know, since I've been away from you two, um, what is new? What have I missed? I'd like to know. This foundation mm, is the cat's meow. It's so good. Ooh, this is like, that is really holding the foundation, that primer. Now, the one I have is just the mini. I didn't get the full size one because I just wanted to try the mini one first because my Touch of Silk Chemist primer, you know, I'm after hitting pan on that one, um, but I don't want to buy any new primers as such until I really use that one completely up so and i'm loving my natural here lately i feel i don't know i feel like i just don't want to bleach it and i'm just really enjoying the natural hair color what else have i been up to um not much god when i really realize that my life is boring so tiktok has taken over my life if you guys have tiktok and you want to follow me it's nicole chantel and um, I've been having a lot of fun with TikTok. I don't know, I feel like people don't care really what you do, I guess. Okay, so what I have to say about this primer, I really like how it's holding my foundation. It is super, super nice. So <laughs> while being home, I just, if you guys notice my eyebrows look a little bit different, that's because I shaved the tails of my eyebrows off. <laughs> 
I mean, like, I shaved my head, so why not just shave my eyebrows too, right? Like, the tails. And I found since I did it, like, it just opens up my eye so much more. I don't think I'd recommend it unless you're brave enough to do it and you just don't really um, care because I don't. You know, I don't focus on my hair. It's weird. I don't have a relationship with it, I guess you could say. But, yeah, I uh, I really like how my tails and my brows are gone. So there we go. I went off camera and did my brows. Um, still really not feeling this brow pencil. This one here is by NYX Cosmetics, and it's Phil and Fluffy? Fluff? And it's in the shade Taupe. Of course, my hair is not taupe, but and that's the only darkest eyebrow pencil that I have, and of course, I'm not going to go out and buy one. Beverly Hills Norvina Collection Volume 1 Mini Pro Pigment Palette. I uh, haven't tried this yet, so I'm really super excited to try it. Of course, I'm going to go on my Anastasia Eye Primer best eye primer ever all right so I'm just gonna like show you the colors that I'm going to go in um, you know it's get ready with me I'm really not doing a tutorial as such today but there's like no nude shade to go in my crease so what do I want to do I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty the nude light palette I'm just gonna take that middle shade right there didn't mean to blind you guys of course that's the wrong brush in the hole Get yourself together. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just, there we go. Crease brush. My eyebrows so do not match my hair color. But I, I think this video has just gone down the tube because of my eyebrows. So I'm gonna do something different. So of course, in the camera, it's not coming off like this is straight up like a real bright kind of a, what would I call it? Like an orange, like almost like a tangerine orange, but a little bit lighter, like a corally orange mix. But in, the camera it's coming off like it's really super light but I want to take that shade so ooh, okay I should have just took a little bit so I did a lot of pre-filming I got a lot of videos done for April month even going right into May month I have no idea where I'm going with this look today I'm back in with the Huda palette and just to let you guys know when everything is back to normal let's say like I know I took such a long break from YouTube, but I just needed it. And, you know, with my friend passing away and my aunt ending up in hospital and just life in general takes over, I just needed that break. But I had planned a Christmas giveaway for you guys. And of course, now with everything going on now, I just don't feel comfortable um, having a giveaway right now at this time. But when everything comes back to normal, there will be a giveaway. And I'm really excited for you guys to see the products that I have picked out. So the next shade I'm gonna go in with is this shade right here. Uh, it's another matte shade. I'm just taking my little detailed brush here. I just wanna tap that onto the outer portion. So if you guys live in the St. John's area, I mean, it's really exciting for us here. Um, probably a month ago, yeah, a month ago I'd say, that Sephora got the Huda Beauty like set up and the Charlotte Tilbury set up. It's always nice when they bring in new brands that you could actually get physically in store now and you don't have to wait for it to go online. So I'm really happy with this eyeshadow palette so far. I really like those two shades that I use, but I will be using more colors afterwards um, in my lower eye area, waterline area. Anyhow. <laughs> I guess just one of those days. So I'm really hoping that this hair is not going to sting my lids. This is the MAC Cosmetics and it's the Dazzle Shadow Liquid. And this one here is called Stars In My Eyes. So I seen this a while back and I purchased it and look at the color, it's so beautiful. I'm just really hoping that this is gorgeous, gorgeous silver. Um, yeah, let's, I'm just gonna try it, hopefully my eyes will burn okay so this hair is really nice it's uh it's not stinging my eyes I don't know what's going on with that corner of my eye there oh my god are you kidding me oh my god my heart is broken right now look what I just did look at this see it's all 
It's just great. As I was saying, this hair is really nice. It is not stinging my eyes. And I just blended it over the um, eyeshadow and I really like it. So back to my very damaged um, Ravina palette. Hmm. Can't believe I just did that and there's like purple eyeshadow all over my floor. <laughs> so there we go, I got the eyeshadow palette all cleaned off. I got the purple all pressed back into the palette. Um, <laughs> Whew. So I'm going to go in with this pink shade right here. I'm also going to go in with that purple that I just totally shattered. Like it just shattered my life. Um, I'm going to go in with that shade. I'm afraid to hold it up because I'm afraid it's actually going to fall out. Take my little detailed brush. I'm going to go in with that pink shade. When I drop a product, like my heart <laughs> skips a beat, literally. And I'm always afraid to look to see the damage. Tell me in the comments down below what products have you dropped in the past and you broke and you're just like, oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. I'm going to put the other one on. Like, look at the difference. Lashes, no lashes. So I'm going to put this one on here. These are uh, Kiss Lashes and Gala. I always get people always messaging me and saying, oh my God, what lashes are you using? Like over on my Instagram, I'm like, oh, these are the Kiss Lashes and Gala. So I already went ahead and contoured my face, but I wanted to come on and show you how I use the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush. Not using the Bloom Blush and Glow, Nicole. We're using the Bloom. No, Nicole, there's no Bloom in this one. It's the Natasha Denona Love Cheek glow palette let me get it oh my god i have to stop everything i am going to get oh my god i can't concentrate can't focus focus let's try this again shall we please so i'm going to take this fake beauty blender not the real beauty blender and i'm going to take the glow cream base which is right here i don't want to blind you guys which is right here and i'm just going to take a little bit on this hair and then i'm going to just apply it onto my cheek just like that and just look at this like ooh, so good at first when i started doing it like this like applying it to my face like this um, I took a little bit too much and I was like, ooh, okay, that's like a lot. So I just like to go in with a little bit at a time and just to build up that product. Ooh, that's so pretty. So now I'm going to go in with the Super Glow. Now this hair you got to take very, very little. Once again, I just take a little tiny dab and I just apply it like that. Now I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever and this is the Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. This one here is in the shade R220. So I like to take this with my big fluffy brush, which is the Sephora number 91 brush. And I just take it and I just like buff it into my skin so it's blending everything together and just kind of like making the line just melt into my skin where I have my contour, my blush to. Cause I just like a subtle contour look to my face. I don't really like a real defined one. I like it more natural looking. So I'm gonna go in with my La Mer, the Sheer Pressed Powder in Translucent. Love this stuff. Once again, taking the 91 brush. Now I'm just going to buff that into my skin. And this really makes it look like I have a filter on my face without the filter. So you guys, to finish off the look, I did go on my lower waterline with the Fenty Beauty. This is definitely the video of where Nicole just keeps on dropping stuff. So you guys, to finish off this look, I did go in with the Fenty Beauty and this here is the Fly Pencil Long Wear Pencil Eyeliner in Bad Bride. I did put that in my lower waterline. Love this stuff. It stays in the waterline all day long. And I also went in with my Kali um, Cosmetics Lip Kit in the shade June Bug, which is my favorite out of all my lip kits that I own. This one here is my favorite. And I just checked her website and it's on sale. And I was like, oh, hello, but I'm not going to order it because I'm going to be good because I have this one right now and it's lasted me quite some time. So I don't need to order it right now, but I'm just putting it out there that it is on sale. <laughs> so guys, that's it for my chit chat. Get ready with me to go nowhere edition. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video despite all the products that I'm after dropping in this video you know, crushing that purple eyeshadow. 
but this is the look I created and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you're all being safe. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.